how to be confident, how to develop self-esteem. Hi guys, my name is Lena Semenek and welcome to my channel Psychology of Happiness, where happiness is the purpose of life. Let's talk today about self-confidence, about self-esteem. If you're in a bad mood, you can probably hide it, but if you have low self-esteem, then it's almost impossible to hide it. Uh, self-confidence uh, is related to self-esteem. If you have low self-esteem, then your confidence is also low. So how to raise, how to develop your self-esteem? Self-esteem is all about achievements, is all about results that you have in your life. And a lot of people will feel shy or nervous when um, you ask them about achievements. And the thing is that every person, absolutely every person has achievements. In the next five minutes, I will teach you three easy steps how to develop your self-esteem and how to be confident. Let's start. Step number one is to create a list of your achievements. Uh, take a notebook and write your achievements. Maybe you will write only three today. Tomorrow, maybe you add two more. The next day, maybe one more. So don't think that you have to sit down and write like the long list of achievements in the next five minutes. No, give yourself time. Uh, just buy a notebook and write your achievements. The longer the list, the more confident you will feel. And it can be small achievement, medium achievement, big achievements, it does not matter. What matters is the amount of your achievements. Step number two is to create a challenge for yourself. New challenge for yourself. For example, uh, what time do you wake up? Like 7 a.m.? Start waking up at 6.30 and do morning exercises for 30 minutes. And do it for 30 days. Not one, not two, not three, not a week. Do it for 30 days. So uh, after 30 days, your self-esteem will go up and your self-confidence will go up. Uh, if you don't like uh, morning exercises, um, do you like to cook maybe? You can start learning new cooking techniques and maybe you can cook a new dish uh, every other day for the next 30 days. So after a month, you will have these great results. You will have new knowledge in your life and cooking also will boost your creativity. And you can say, I don't like cooking. Okay, you can sign up for horse riding class or maybe karate class or maybe yoga class. Find something that you can enjoy or just do a challenge. This is a challenge for you. You need to create more results, more challenges in your life. You need to have more achievements. Create a challenge for yourself and do it for at least 30 days. Because if you're gonna do it for like short period of time, it's not gonna consider as achievement. Your brain will devalue it. And uh, if you're gonna do it for a long period of time, you will feel great about yourself. You can share it with other people and other people will say, wow, great job. And you will feel even more appreciateful towards yourself and you will feel more grateful towards yourself and you will feel your self-esteem will go up and your self-confidence will go up. Step number three is to keep going. After you finish first challenge, create another challenge and write your results, your achievements in your list. The longer the list, the more achievements, uh, higher self-esteem and you're gonna feel confident. You will become successful, goal-oriented person and uh, you will feel great about yourself, you will feel more happy about yourself, your life will change and you will become a role model for people around you. Ask your questions, share your opinion, I would like to hear it, leave your comments below uh, this video and if you would like to be a happy, successful person, check my other videos, all links will be in the description. Share this video with your friends, post it on your Twitter, Facebook and subscribe to my channel to receive notification of new videos that I release every week. And of course, thank you for watching Psychology of Happiness, where happiness is the purpose of life.